Welcome back to the channel. This video is all about how to set up RSS feeds with Astro. In the video, you'll learn about how to create a new Astro project from a template, how to install the Astro RSS package, how to create and configure a RSS feed, and how to add CSS styling to the RSS feed. To get started with the video, you need to have the latest version of Node.js installed and Visual Studio Code set up with the Astro plugin. And I've left a link to the completed tutorial source code in the video's description below. So we're going to start with a blank Astro project. You'll have to open up a shell within a folder where you would like to create the folder for today's video. So I'm going to run the command npm create Astro. And it's going to ask us the name of the folder for the project. And I'm going to call mine Astro RSS. You can call it whatever you like. You then get to choose the starter template. Normally I use the few best practices template, but for this one, I'm going to use the personal website starter kit because it has some markdown files in there for a blog, which is what we're going to use for the RSS feed. It's then going to ask you if you'd like to install the NPM dependencies. You can do that manually with the NPM install command, but I'm going to hit Y so it does it for me. And then the being asked if we'd like to initialize the git repository, you can use the command git init, otherwise you can just hit y and it's done for you. I'm going to choose relax typescript as it's not a major focus of this tutorial. We've then got to change into the directory that we just created and we can start work on our project. So I'm on the RSS docs page on the Astro site. I'll leave the link to this page in the description below. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add the astro.js slash rss package and we'll use npm for that. So I'll open the project in Visual Studio Code. We'll then go to a new terminal. We'll paste in that command to install the astro rss package with npm. And then we'll go back to the docs page and we'll look at how to do the configuration. Before we go ahead and do the main part of the configuration, we need to, first of all, make sure we have created a site configuration in the astro.config.mjs file. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that and then we'll continue on to the RSS configuration where we import the site configuration. So we'll open up astro.config.mjs and because this particular start has already got the site map and an example of RSS setup, they've already added the site configuration to their site config. Right here you need to have the exact URL of where your site is hosted. That way both the site map and the RSS feed can publish absolute URLs, not relative URLs. So then we'll go ahead and we'll copy the example code. We'll go ahead and create the file. So inside source and pages there's already an example one there. What we'll do is we'll get rid of the configuration. We'll leave our import for RSS and our import for our custom site configurations. And then we'll look at the example here and we'll set it up. So for title, we can just use the variable site title. I'll explain that in a second. And then description, we'll put in site description. And if you go into the config.ts file, you'll see that's where we're defining and exporting those variables. So site title will be my personal website. We can change that, for example, to astro site. And description, the tutorial, for Clinton RSS. So they'll be pulled into the title and description. The URL will be pulled in from our astro.config file. It'll be example.com. And here's the interesting part. So by default with this example, we're importing every single markdown file in the site. And I would prefer just to import the markdown files from the blog 
because they're the pages that are going to be changing and they're the pages that we want people to be watching. So what we'll do is change it to dot slash blog slash star star slash star dot md. So that star star allows the glob matching to go any depth it likes in terms of the folders. And then the star dot md will match any of the markdown files in here. We've also got the custom data at the bottom to inject the language tag. I'm just going to change that to English. So it's a bit more generic. We'll save that and then we'll go down to the build script and it will create a dist folder and we can check the output. So let's finish building. We'll go into the dist folder and you'll see rss.xml. Now to format that, by default, Visual Studio Code doesn't support formatting of XML files. There's a plugin called XML Format by Mike Berg and it's a very minimal plugin and that will format XML files for you so you can check what's been output. So we'll open up the rss.xml inside the disk folder and then use Alt Shift F to format that and then we can double check what has been generated. So you'll notice that all of our blog pages have been output here. And we've also got the language tag being generated because we've configured that as custom data. You may have noticed we've also got an MDX file in our blog posts. So what we're going to do a glob match for that is we'll put brackets around the MD and we can put in a pipe and also specify MDX. It's worth noting that you need to have some specific fields in your markdown or your MDX for this RSS plugin to work. So you need to have the title, the publish date, optionally description, and you can also have custom data, but you must have the title and the publish date set up. So for example, in the MDX file, we've got the title set up, which is obviously very important for display of HTML. You'll need the description for your RSS and SEO if you've got some SEO set up and publish date that's required for the RSS too. So it's obvious on the RSS feed when the actual, when the page was actually published. So then we'll go and rebuild now that we've got that set up for MDX as well. The Astro build command. And we'll go into the dist folder. We'll open up the RSS, Alt, Shift, F to format it. You'll notice the MDX blog has come in using MDX and we've got our publish date coming in and also the description. So make sure all of your blog posts have got the publish date set, otherwise they will not be pulled in to the RSS feed. And last thing we'll look at is adding a style sheet to the RSS feed. So the suggestion here of a style sheet that you can download and use, and we're going to put it in the public slash RSS folder. So we'll grab that content and then we'll create the file RSS slash styles slash XSL. And we'll paste that in and then we'll add the style sheet option to the RSS config. And we'll save that and then we will rebuild the site. Then we'll go up into the dist folder and open up rss.xml. We'll format it with Alt Shift F if you've got the plugin installed and if you look up the top we'll see we've got a style sheet there referenced. So when the RSS reader picks up the feed it will also apply the style sheet to the way the feed is displayed. So that's it for the video. If you liked it remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below in the comments section and please remember to subscribe to the channel 
and hit the bell notification button to be notified of my regular coding tutorials.